Hey everyone, it's me Michelle again and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a grocery haul. This is for just about a week of groceries. It is getting towards the end of the year. Christmas is coming. I'm trying to really keep the weekly grocery uh, budget down if I can. This I meal planned and I'm actually going to go through and tell you guys what I am planning for this week. So if you're interested in seeing everything that I got, then just keep on watching. To start off, since we are so close to Christmas, I found the Peppermint Mocha Creamer in Sugar Free, so I picked up one of those. And then I also picked up the White Chocolate Raspberry. This is not seasonal, but it's just one of my favorites, so when I find it, I tend to pick it up. Then I got two unsweetened almond milks for cereal. And then I also got two of the... They're to 10 count. They're actually pretty small, those biscuits, but if you cut them up, I use them in a breakfast sausage egg bake. So this is actually two meals worth. And then I also got the ricotta cheese for the stuffed shells that I'm planning on making. Moving on to the meat section, I got some stew meat. I'm going to be making a rice and gravy. I haven't really been buying beef products lately just because they are so expensive. It was $8.68 for this small package, but... I felt like going for that instead of the pork, so I just did that and kind of planned around it. Then we have this hot ground Italian sausage. I had was pretty sure I had ordered mild. I think they handed me the wrong one, but we're not picky. We'll eat it anyway. And that's for the stuffed shells. Then I also got this package of pork chops. I'm going to be making sweet and spicy pork chops. They have brown sugar and salt, pepper, garlic, onion. I'm thinking I might do a video on those, but I'm not sure yet. Then I got this package of homestyle meatballs. I'm going to be splitting it in two, so I'll be getting two meals out of this. Meatballs and gravy, and then I'm going to be making meatball subs. Then this is a seasoning blend. Again, I probably could have saved money on this, but this one's a time saver. And then seasoned french fries. This will go with the meatball subs that I'm making. The mozzarella cheese that's right here and then I also got parmesan cheese. It will go for both the meatball subs and the stuffed shells. So I also bought this pre-seasoned garlic butter. I had not care gold. That one's super expensive. I would not have ordered that on my own. It was a substitution. And then classic hummus. The butter is going to be for uh, garlic bread and making my own. And then this time of year I just picked up another unsalted butter. And here's some minced garlic for the Italian dishes. It'll probably go into both of them. Then this is the French bread. Again, could have definitely gotten this cheaper if I had went in to do it because you can often find them on the discount bread roll or the bread rack rather. And then the jumbo shells for those uh, stuffed shells. Now this isn't for any of the dinner meals. This is for breakfast. I got two of these huge bags of cereal. They were a really good deal. They were $5 a piece. I don't know if they handed me the wrong one, but I could have swore those were more expensive. And then I got the sub rolls for the meatball subs. There's exactly six, so that should go for everybody. I don't know, my youngest two might split one, but we'll see. 348 also could have probably found those cheaper if I had looked on that discount bread rag. Now, I usually make my own bread, but because it's so hectic with everything going on, I've just went and bought two of the rolls of regular bread for when I don't have time to make the other one. And then I also got sugar-free syrup because I have pancake mix on hand. I've never tried this Maple Grove brand. It was a substitution, so we're going to see how that goes. And then buttery homestyle instant potatoes. This is going to go with when I make the sweet and spicy pork chops. I think we're going to have potatoes with those. And then brown gravy. This will go for meatballs and gravy. Two of the drink enhancers just because, I don't know, if you live in Louisiana, you know the water is kind of iffy. We have a filter, but I don't know. Just, you don't want to taste it, trust me. Uh, pasta sauce, this is going to be for the stuffed shells. And then I got to think of marinara for when we do the meatball subs. Really, I could have went cheap for both of them. I don't know, just went for a little bit of variety this week. Then this mushroom, this small one here, is going to go into the meatballs and gravy. It's kind of like a mix between a Salisbury steak and like a Swedish meatballs. Then cut green beans, this is going to go probably one with meatballs and gravy and the other one with my pork chops. These mini pretzel twists for the kids for lunch, they like to dip them in the hummus that I had gotten earlier. And that is all for this one. Now my budget was around $100 before taxes and everything. It was $108. Louisiana food tax is ridiculous, but it ended up coming up to about $114. 
And that is all for today. If these are the kind of videos you'd like to see again, just let me know in the comments and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!